compass monitor has an electronic pattern changer right there in the monitor. So if you have an operator who prefers backer loader controls or excavator controls, you can switch back from one to the other. Very easy and very simple. I'll show you how. The icon is right here. We'll see the cross. That is your pattern changer. The change pattern is very simple. You just go in, gives you the choice of the two patterns. It's currently an excavator pattern. And we're going to select backhoe pattern. You'll see it pops up, shows that we've changed the pattern. So instead of the boom being in the right hand, the stick is now in the right hand. And if we want to swap back, simply hit the pattern, go to excavator pattern, tells the operator we've changed it. And now the right hand joystick goes back to being a boom instead of the stick. The compass monitor has an auto idle feature. By going into work mode, you can select to turn auto idle on or off. I'll show you how to do that. The icon for auto idle is the icon just here. You'll also see that it's already on the display and that auto idle is on. It's defaulted as on because it's a great fuel saving feature on the machine. Every time you stop working the controls, the engine RPM after five seconds will go down to low idle. As soon as you touch any of the controls, the engine RPM comes back up to where it was previously. Now in some applications, you may wish to turn this feature off, such as in craning. To do so, it's very easy. You hit the button, you turn it off, you say OK. The compass monitor will tell you there's been a change to the work mode, and auto idle is now off, and the icon has disappeared from the screen. Using the compass monitor, we can set the auxiliary flow adjust on the main auxiliary as well as the second auxiliary. And we can also go in and select predetermined work tools and the flows that we've set to those tools. You'll see the icon for auxiliary flow adjust. You set it up and you can change that flow to 15 or all the way down to 1, whatever you desire. So if you're using a thumb, for instance, and you're handling debris, unimportant material that you want to grab and let go of really quickly and easily, you'd probably run on 15 and say OK to that. Now if you were using your thumb to handle delicate material such as landscape rock or retaining wall block, you'd probably slow the thumb down to something that you're very comfortable with and slow everything up so you're not damaging the material you're handling. Also within the system, we can go into Work Tool and we go into Work Tool Select and we've actually se selected a number of work tools where we have already preset the flow settings for you. So for instance, if we select shear, we look at it, you'll see that we've selected shear, we look at what flow it is, and we've preset that to run at 12. Go back in again, go back into work tool, go down to work tool select, and this time let's do something like a brush cutter for instance. We select brush cutter, you'll see that we've now said brush cutter, we go back in and look at the flow, and we'll see that brush cutters you would expect to set a full flow of 15. So 15 settings across the range of our work tools to speed up, to slow down, whatever flow we require and give us the versatility for our work tools. The compass monitor has a continuous flow feature. It's very easy to set at a touch of a button, and we'll show you how to do that now. The continuous flow icon can be seen right here. The turn continuous flow on is very simple. Turn it on, you'll see at the moment it says off, so we're gonna say on, and the monitor instantly is gonna tell us that it's continuous flow ready. We'll then go to our joystick and roll the auxiliary roller, and once the pump sees a steady signal for five seconds, continuous flow will pop on, we let go of the roller, and you can see that we are continuous flow go. It will stay in the go position and keep us in continuous flow until we go back and touch and then you'll see it goes back to ready. As soon as we want to go back to continuous flow once again, bring it up, once you see continuous flow for five seconds, it'll lock itself on, and we can go ahead and let go of the roller. As simple as that. And then once you're finished with the function, you just go back in and turn continuous flow off. 